You want to come in for breakfast? Want some breakfast? better oh another snowy snowy bus life day I had to go in the house and do the dishes from last night because as it would have it winter bus life something else we're gonna be investing in getting shore power in the bus so we can hook it up to the barn for the electric because right now we just have an extension cord running um, it's pretty far distance though and we can't run more than one heating unit so like if I want to boil water for tea I have to turn the heater off um, but more importantly, we're doing that because we need to put a heating pad on our gray tank. Our gray tank is 25 gallons. It is outside, mounted underneath the bus, actually like right, right there. And it, it's been, it's frozen, it's frozen. It's, it's frozen. Fuck. As I had thought and dreaded, our gray water tank is frozen solid. Color me impressed. 25 gallons to freeze solid. Just, I don't see any cracks in it. But it's also like, it's not good. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Winter bus life, we're not gonna be moving very far. So eventually we're gonna get straw bales and we're going to bag them into like contractor size trash bags, just keep critters out of it and then line the bus with those. So that'll really help with the insulation under us and it'll make the floor warmer too, but it'll keep our gray tank from freezing and we are going to take another step further and we're putting a heating pad, somewhat like, um, Jen and Charlie have on theirs. We're gonna get a heating pad for the gray tank because it's mounted outside and underneath the bus and like we're, we're here all winter. So we're going to be a little, uh, a little more proactive about the deep freezes, but it's been getting very cold. Do dishes in here right now because I don't want to add any more water into the tank that's already frozen and we've been just toothpaste spitting in the trash can, which I'm not a fan of. But you do what you gotta do. So yeah, heating pad, shore power, all coming soon to the bus. Probably more soon than that, because it's gonna take a little chunk of money, is going to be straw bales. Which also turns out our price point is gonna be like $400 in straw. I'm like, that's, that's ridiculous. So yeah, winter bus life. It has its perks, like I get to wear my cozy sweater, and I lit all my candles this morning, and I made tea, and I felt great, and <laughs> yeah. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but 
whatever. It's, it'll be fine. A productive morning. Um, I did skip my meditation. I've been getting in the swing. I'm doing a new morning routine. I wake up. I don't reach for my phone, which is actually really, really hard. <laughs> I'm sure if anyone has ever tried to like go without using their phone intentionally, like it, act yeah, it's it's difficult. Meditation, a guided meditation on YouTube, because I don't really, I can't do a meditation without without some guidance. Honestly, it's much harder for me to just sit still with myself. And I recognize that and hopefully like soon I won't have to use my guided meditation that I do on the computer But yeah, I'll just sit right in the middle of the bed and I'll turn my little fireplace on here And then I'll put it up on the table So it's pointing right at me so I get all nice and warm and I'll do my meditation And then I'll put on like a little like morning bedtime or morning bed yoga routine And that I don't need a video for as much but I just feel like having someone speak to me and like talk me through the stretches like I enjoy that I enjoy the teacher aspect of yoga a lot actually I'm certified as a yoga teacher my morning routine I'm trying to stay diligent with it but I'm also not holding like such high expectations for myself like if I don't complete it I don't have to punish myself I want to keep telling myself good words not like degrading myself so even if I miss a day journaling or I miss meditation or I don't do my stretches in the morning, like that's okay too. Part of uh, my daily goals is I want to create something or do something that makes me happy each day. I think I might do something a little different for my creative. Been looking for you, mate. And some pictures. Oh my God. This is the weekend Chase and I got engaged in San Diego. He brought a whole bunch of camera equipment. This was way before we even started YouTube. And he said he wanted to start our like travel vlog. I had no idea at the time, but he actually was creating a video for our families to see for our engagement. And it was a very, it was a very, very sweet thing. My little sister had this journal made for me. It's so cute. Travels of Mimsy. This is my style of journaling. So I like to take scrapbook pieces, magazine cutouts, and kind of form, formulate my own words and do some different stuff in here. And then it looks like I've started to add pictures into this one. And I haven't finished this page, but that was when I was in Nicaragua and I actually bordered down an active volcano, 720 meter tall volcano called Cerro Negro, which means Black Hill in Spanish. And you just, you basically are just sitting on like a piece of wood with a string and they don't give you a helmet they give you an orange jumpsuit and then you board down the volcano and yeah it was it was really cool and the bottom of the volcano they had a cookie and a beer waiting for you and it was yeah it was pretty cool um, yeah definitely one of the favorite my favorite ones I've done is this guy I just like it and by no means am I like a crazy artist, I've seen some people do some gnarly shit on wood burning, and I, I aspire to get to that level one day. For now, it's pretty simple, and I don't know, I like it. It's still fun, and I like to burn stuff anyway, so. Speaking of stupid friends. <laughs> But I drew a terrible little skull and crossbone. Like I said, I'm not like the most impressive artist ever. <laughs> I like I like to do art. I mean, I work at a crafting bar as a bartender, so obviously I like art. Um, yeah, I just I don't think I practice enough to be exceptionally good at it. So, but I still I really enjoy it. Winter bus life is something. This this might be the greatest bus winter activity ever, as long as I don't burn down the house. It's cute. I like it. Yeah, maybe I'll do some ornaments this year. Um, so yes, I ordered myself the holiday special from who? Who? Ho? Who ho? I don't know. <whistles> Yay! Dark chocolate gingerbread. Holiday edition dark chocolate pumpkin spice. 
yeah, I'm really excited about those. This I might as well throw in the garbage because I'm one of those people like mint and chocolate is disgusting. Don't get me started on those nasty ass Girl Scout cookies. I think they're like minty chalkboard and they don't deserve to be called chocolate. This one I've had, but it came in the holiday pack. The only real reason I got it. So yes, I spent $40 on four bars of chocolate to really just get the two. Chase will probably eat the crunchy mint one or I could mail it to Jen. I think she already might be on the road. It's a good chance. It's hard to locate your, your van life and your nomad friends for holidays because they're all over the place. You can't really ship them anything. Normally they get stuff shipped here. Tomorrow is more of an errand day, but I might have like a little treat yourself moment. I need a new candle. Yeah, it's about one a month, guys. It's about one a month. Tomorrow's errands. Today was creative, relaxing, enjoying my snow day. I can't even find my snow dog. He went on an adventure. I'll relax before Chase gets home because it's going to be fairly soon. I'm thinking, actually, let's just cheat. Where you at? I love stalking him. It's my favorite. Just know that if you share your Google location with me, I'm constantly looking at where you are. It's such a cozy afternoon, just crafting. But I'm gonna go inside and make breakfast burritos because I can't wash my dishes out here. Winter bus life. It might break me. Good morning. Bed is made. Meditation is done. Journal entry is done. Feeling good about it. It's much later than I thought I was going to be leaving to go do errands because I slept in. Really excited about is I'm gonna go take Kevin, the farm truck that we have been using, and go clean, clean her up because Kevin is now pretty much officially mine. I have my own vehicle again and I get to go places during the week. Um, while Chase is gone at work, he got himself a commuter car that's a lot better on gas, which is awesome. And he's actually kind of always wanted one of these. It's a Honda SI and um, it's zippy. He took me for a ride the other day and that thing is fast. So I won't be driving that car for sure because I'm already enough of a speed demon. Kevin is mine, so I have I have my own whip again, which is so exciting. Um, gonna take her and get the trash cleaned out because Chase likes to eat tuna fish sandwiches from the gas station and throw the containers on the floor because he's gross like that. Love him, but he's gross. I got a whip now. Got a sweet little truck. I'm just gonna bum around. I need a candle too, a propane candle, all the things. I'm ready? I feel clean, I feel cute. Just so you know, I also copped these shoes for $30 less than I should have paid because I shopped in the little boys section at Target and they have zippers, so it makes it easy to get on and off. Now we're ready. You guys have seen this old girl before, but I don't know, just it's something is hitting different. I'm a farm girl, I like trucks. So now I got myself a manual and I, I love it. So first stop, let's go clean this thing out cause Chase is gross and throws his shit everywhere. Okay, we're here and we're gonna clean this trash hole out. Um, I did see actually some of my trash so I really can't blame Chase for all of it. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to wash it because Chase has photography equipment and his massage table in the back and that topper isn't 100% sealed. So we're skipping a bath, but we can clean out the trash. Right. There's just a lot of stuff in here, actually. This is so much worse than I thought. Okay, can we all take a moment to appreciate that Chase calls me the messy one and I 100% own up to it, but he doesn't think he is? Take a look at this back seat. What the fuck? It's just like endless stuff. There's so much stuff back here. Might require a little more time at the farm than me trying to sift through this stuff and if I throw something away that I'm not supposed to, I'm in muy, muy trouble. What is it with men and keeping empty boxes? Like, I, maybe it's women too. I don't keep boxes though. He's had this camera strap for like at least two years and he still has the box. I hope he's embarrassed when I post this, if he even watches it. I know this channel has become like the Mimsy show, so welcome. Just me navigating life. To the rest of my ability, which is not that great all the time. He's definitely a trash panda. Forgot my bag of change that I was also going to cash out at the bank, which has on my quarters, but I did find a dollar fifty in here. Thanks for that, babe. Fastest vacuuming I've ever done in my life but I'm quite pleased. A little cleaner, a little less trash. I'm gonna have to have Chase help me go through the back and see what I actually can throw away. Oops. Post office looks like a madhouse. 
the line was like practically out the door. So we're going to come back in like an hour after I finish my other errands and see if I can pick it up. Cross your fingers. I really hope I can. And it's something we never really configured into our design layout is where's the propane gonna go for the oven we just we can fit one of those little ones back there i think a three pound one might fit but i also picked up some extra curtains because it's been drafty very drafty and the front of the bus is not insulated so it's kind of ruining all the insulation we did in the back of the bus onward to the next errand we might revisit the post office but i also might just go get groceries and then post office. We also have to get root kibble. Let's get this, let's get this bitch rolling. All right, I'm gonna try and do the post office again. We'll see if it's crazy busy. I really hope I get this package, you guys. Success! Yes! What am I so excited about? I am so excited about Nature Head's pre-measured, pre-hydrated, pre-broken down coconut pour. And Angela's a sweetheart. She said, happy holidays, Kenzie and Chase. I'm like, oh, stop it, thank you. Um, so excited about your your pooping compost stuff. You nature said thank you Angela. Appreciate you. It's Angela and oh yeah, Maris. Maris is uh the other lady we met at the Great American Tiny House Festival. If you didn't watch that episode, go watch it. I'll put it over here. What are we doing? Are we partying? No, we're not partying at all. We're getting some real nasty, real cheap hopefully vodka to dump into our gray tank and hope that breaks it up. Tomorrow's gonna be warm. Like I said, I'm doing the compost and I'm also going to try and defrost our ice cube underneath our bus. So let's go find some really cheap vodka. We're definitely not getting Tito's, that's for sure. All right, we got brunettes. I don't think it needs to be flavored because they have flavored ones. I've literally never even heard of the ship before. It looks gross. I'm not drinking it, the buses. I did get bitters too, not my favorite brand, but I got bitters to make a, possibly like an apple butter old fashioned later. I had entirely intended on making those for Friendsgiving at Liz's house, but Chase came down with COVID and we couldn't go, so it was very sad. I was a depressed bunny last week, hence no video, and it was also Thanksgiving, so I was like, you know what? I'm taking, I'm taking this week off, but. It was good, and I'm feeling great this week. We need the grocery. We're gonna hit grocery, then root kibble. So I brought the camera in because I didn't want to leave it in the car, and then I just totally walked away with it sitting in the car. So it kind of defeats the purpose of security. But I didn't really film anything. Um, my bad, I forgot. Sometimes I get carried away in a grocery store. <laughs> Scratch that. I always get carried away in a grocery store. I'm gonna eat that. Nobody sees me do this, and if they do, enjoy it. I do kind of want to go get a candle. My candle spot is like right over there. I'll leave you in here, probably hidden underneath some groceries. The whole part of me editing me going, no, 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 no. So that's pretty much what happens. Watch my ass, people. You can't really see out the back. I'm gonna make this the fastest candle sniff ever. Whether you believe me or not, I did that in two minutes. I kind of can't believe that. There was also three women in the candle aisle and I just asserted myself in there. I got the same brand as I did last time, different um, different like scent, flavor, but yeah, the Manly Indulgence candles are really for me. Notes of rum, crushed clove, pine fir, and orange zest. Felt Christmassy enough without being like, like a tree shoved itself up my nose. It feels good to have a vehicle to just like go do errands and take my time and not have time constraints and things like that. Like it's, I didn't realize how much I enjoyed that, that kind of freedom. The last stop is roof food. I can't believe I just got a candle in two minutes. That might be a best. And I still did the whole like, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, pretty much. I'm proud of myself. Root kibble acquired. Let's go back to the farm. We need to spread as long as we drive. Mm-hmm. Watch my butt. Here I come. Oh yeah. I fucking love that, man. 
the fucking back of the truck just wa op just opened on its own. It's locked, first of all. I had to throw the food through the window, and then I just look in the back, I'm like, oh, I can see so clearly, because you normally can't see out of that, because it's a door, and it's all foggy. So I just had to make an emergency pull over on the side of the road to make sure Nico's $90 kibble didn't spill all over the road. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. Okay, now we're going home. <laughs> Hi, I got you food. I almost lost it on the road. Yeah. Uh, I hate these fucking curtains. Oh my god. Get this handsome beast. It's me. It's you. Hi. You want to mm. say hi to the people? They hung out with me all day. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. And you got me to come home and never. That's the best part. That's, that's the only part. I was going to make a drink with you guys on this episode, but I'm thinking join me for a live right after this, and we're going to make apple butter old-fashioned. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the live. Good night. Are you going to be on the live? Probably not. <laughs>